o'clock. Oh. Let's call this meeting to order. Um, our first item is, are there any additions or modifications to the proposed agenda? I take it, Eric, it's not. Eric's not joining. No, Eric is away. Okay. Um, first item up is executive dis uh, executive session to interview a public works candidate. Anyone want to make a motion? Motion to enter into executive session to interview public works candidates as allowed by one BSA 313A3. We have a second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Me. Aye. Ayes have it. Okay, we are in executive. Okay, we're consented out of an executive session at 713. Okay. Do we have a do we have an action? Uh I motion that Brian's story extend a written uh job offer to Ernest Lockamy uh for the open public works position. Um Placing Ernest at a year two CDL driver in the wage grid. Pending successful background check and references. Okay. I'll second that motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Ayes have it. And you'll reach out to him tomorrow. I expect so. Because November one and we're all in. Yeah. We just need to make sure that that benefit paper kind of put together. Um, but yeah, okay. So going into the next agenda item, discussion on economic development opportunities and challenges. Is a, we have the a proposal. So okay, two things about this. One thing is. Um, we're just going to talk about the economic development opportunities and challenges that we didn't have time to cover in our last meeting. And then we'll go into executive session for um, discussing with candidates. So we just want to separate the two. Um, Brian, do you have anything you want to add? Nothing to directly just you know wanted to make sure that we had a little bit of opportunity for kind of updating the public about how this process has went that we've been uh we've had an open call we've been reviewing candidates and making some progress about bringing somebody on um you know but we have not not yet been able to select a, a, a final a final candidate that we're comfortable working with uh, but the money that was approved by the voters, you know, we're still trying to make best possible use of it and have not spent any on our, uh, on the efforts that we've, haven't been satisfied with. Okay. What, what do you anticipate the goal of this agenda item to be, Beth? Um, so the last time we met, we had this proposal for economic development consultant services to the town, and we didn't spend time digging into it. And separately, we have a candidate um, related, but separate, we have a candidate that is a potential interviewee. I didn't know if there, were, there was any discussion needed on this proposal uh, for the uh, consult services. Or if there's anything we want to talk about in open session, um, and give us the opportunity to do that if we wanted to. Sorry. But if not, that's okay. We can call this agenda item complete and move on. I I don't think we should do that. <laughs> I I I liked this proposal the best of any that we've seen so far. Okay. Um, and I feel like it would be appropriate for us to um, continue 
to the interview stage with Mr. Duffy. Are there any, does anyone else have any? Yeah, okay, thanks. Does anyone else have any questions or clarifications on this proposal? No. Okay. No, because you're vibrating in sympathetic resonance with everything I said, <laughs> or? At Harvard. Heartburn, that's a great reason. <laughs> Um, Brian, are you peaceful? Yeah. What do you think, Evan? Well, did, did you folks notice that Walt Pomeroy said he was peaceful all the time at the last meeting? I noticed. Yeah. I'm surprised you remembered that. I filed that in my hands <laughs> again. Hi, Walter. <laughs> do you have any questions on any of this? Adam? 200 hours of consulting time. Yep. That's uh, five weeks. It's not much time. Mm -hmm. It is the best one we've seen so far. And the month, uh, yeah, qualifications are pretty cool. I, you know, I mean, my, my thought on that, you heard me say in the past, is that I think this should be a municipal position rather than a contract. Yeah, how much that would change the dynamic of the forty thousand dollars that we've got budgeted? I don't know. The survey that was sent out by LCPC asking whether or not communities would have any interest did contain a community development um, position. Um, I don't think anybody's going to come to Johnson and work for twenty hours a week, so it would be another one of those positions that I think would be great if we found somebody that was willing to share it for a 40 hour week position, but we're not there. So but I think we should, my thought is we should be at least open to that even if we do a contract with someone. Hey, can you remind me what um the voters approved when it comes to this that it was just a forty thousand dollars for or economic development. Well, position. No, no, pretty open ended. Okay, well, open ended is good. You know, for kind of exactly this reason is we we weren't sure if the village if we'd have matching funds for the village we weren't sure right. if the position would be best fit as a contractor <laughs> or an employee. We we just didn't know when we had to write the article. Okay, I just I you know. Thinking back to the light industrial the article so, very specifically says shall the vo the voters authorize the town of Johnson to raise appropriate and expend up to forty thousand dollars for the purpose of community and economic development period period so well, question mark technically but so it didn't actually say hire somebody nope it just says generally economic community and economic development. Cool. I, I I think this person we should interview. Okay. Uh, shall we move on in that case? Well, we're still. I don't know. It's it's morphed into contracting a person. Uh, I still think the most bang for the buck for the taxpayers and the town as a whole is paying for grant administration towards economic development. Okay. So I mean, we don't need them to come in and create their own tasks of a business resource guide. Uh, we could say, yeah, we want to focus. The, the board could say that it wants to focus on uh, a dog park, let's say. We could hire somebody to find that grant and administer that grant. That would make that $40,000. Yes, a lot of grants have matching funds that we would have to figure out. Uh, and maybe uh, there is a grant that would cost us $20,000 to administer um, and had a $20,000 match for the light industrial part. And there's your $40,000. I think it's more than just the grant, though, because we need somebody who's going to project manage it too. Which, which 
at $180 an hour, we are never going to get that. That's this is a, a good item to spend money on, but forty thousand dollars is not going to get you anywhere with this individual. And if we budget it again for next year and go with a different individual, it is quite literally flushing that money. So is that the hard pill for you to swallow? The one eighty? No, I. I'm saying that this morphed into asking for proposals for somebody to be an economic developer. They're coming up with their own tasks and mm -hmm. very easily coming out. The majority of what we saw was, oh, we'll blow it on market, right? Mm -hmm. um, we can use this money to have grants administered, right. which would be for economic development. I don't or, know. or apply for grants, I mean, what you're saying. Paying somebody to apply for them, right? Which I think is the most bang for the buck. Um, well, then we make that clear when we bring this person on board. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't our RP kind of spell out the type of services that we were looking for an individual to perform or or a firm to it, perform? It did. It was. It was broad what we were looking for. That we, we didn't have a we didn't have a narrow scope, you know, that we're looking for exactly this. We didn't have an agreement. Intentionally. We had many discussions about what the RFP would say. Yes. And we intentionally left it more broad so that we had more flexibility. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I believe that the board also wanted to have some proposals brought to them from some experts rather than trying to develop their own. Yeah, um, I'm not saying you did anything wrong. I'm just trying to think about it a different way, I guess. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I didn't this, take it as a criticism. I'm just This paying. is essentially paying somebody for five weeks to learn the town. You break it all down. I kind of familiarize myself with this. Work with uh, work with Lamoil Economic Development. <laughs> um, it's a good proposal, but I if we're gonna pay somebody forty thousand dollars to learn the town, I, it just seems like a lot for getting literally nothing. I guess I don't agree with it. literally nothing. Well, we would interview this person and we would drill down because, I, I mean, the point you're making is really valid. Five, five weeks isn't very much time. We can interview. I mean, I assume we would zoom in and we'd interview him. So. Yeah, that's our next out. agenda item that's literally our next item yeah so if we want to do that let's do it now would be the time yeah um, well is there more that you'd like to say no nope. you've heard me before i i think it ought to be a actual municipal position and that would answer a lot of the questions about <laughs> i can see the better yeah. how much how many hours you're getting for the 40,000 bucks? <clears throat> okay. Um, so, what do you think, Beth? Uh, I would love to have somebody hired. We put out job, we put out a um, rec to get applicants in to hire, and we didn't get anything. I mean, I would love to see that too, but I just don't. I don't know. I, we need to move forward. And I think that we probably need to do something like use a consultant in some form in order to make any headway. Otherwise, we're spinning our wheels doing the same thing we're doing right now, which is nothing fast. We're going nowhere fast. And I would like to go somewhere, <clears throat> even if it gets us a, two steps forward, it's at least moving us forward as opposed to not going anywhere. 
And I, I think we also really need to make some decisions fairly soon about how we're going to spend our ARPA money because 2024 is, seems like a long ways off, but it's not. But that is not related to this particular item it directly. Could it could be, but it's not what we have on our agenda at the moment. Uh, but I understand your point. I think we still have the issue of we didn't get applicants to that kind of development position of the them. We got applicants, I'd be gung ho, but we didn't. A applicants for for a for the economic position. Yeah. I thought our, our fee was much more geared towards a contractual arrangement rather than an advertisement for any person. You made a whole bunch of wording adjustments so that we would get both. Like I know what I would have done if I'd seen. Okay, this. so we're just going to rehash something that is not worth our time right now. <clears throat> so rather than rehashing, I think let's go in, let's ask some questions, uh, and go on to a next agenda item and move on. Yeah. Are we going to do the interview as an executive session item? Or yep. If somebody wants to bring us into the next item on our paper, nobody in the audience wants to have. Honest. Greg did, but he has like uh, there are people zooming in, but we don't typically take comments from Zoom. I remember so to, so moving on to executive session for to review economic development proposal candidates as uh would somebody like to make a motion? I'm moving. Going to executive session as allowed by 1 VSA 1313A3, as allowed by. What am I supposed to say after that? You said that. That's yeah, okay. You said that. You're good. Yeah. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Ayes have it. And we are in executive session at 729. Uh, and I'm going to call us adjourned. No action coming out of executive session, and I'm going to call us adjourned at 840.